it's a bit of a grotty day here at Venture Caravan, so I thought I'd take the opportunity to show you around the inside of an Alicanto Sintra model. This is the brand new 2021 model, um, and I'll just show you some of the appliances, features, and space that you get inside this caravan. Uh, so to start with, we've got the front seating. You've got the curved corner cushions there, and headrests. Two scatter cushions for either side. Um, you can really get into the corner there, put your feet up and get very comfortable. Um, because it's the eight foot wide model, you've got a large chest of drawers with the pull out table. And good bit of drawer space with the soft clothes on the drawers. The pull out for the bed, should you want to make it into a bed. And you've also got the drop down cupboard there. Um, you can see the sensor for the alarm system. Um, which is fitted to this model too. In the corners you've got the speakers um, and they're attached to the stereo which is fitted usually in this pod here um, and it's a, a CD radio with DAB connectivity um, or, sorry DAB radio and a USB input and also Bluetooth enabled. Plenty of cupboards all the way round You've got your overhead lockers and um, this particular one's got the aerial and booster in it so you can direct the aerial from inside using that bar there and get your reception. See the finished in a sort of cream effect to the top there um, and then you've got this chrome divider between the bottom section and that top. Just adds a nice bit of class and style. All the way around the large roof light you've got this plinth that finishes it off nicely and if I come from this end you can see how that sort of plays out and looks as it goes down into that long centre front window which gives you a great panoramic view when it's not raining um, and obviously you've got plenty of windows all the way around too um, you've got the Remy blinds and fly screens on the windows and you've got the blind that pulls up from the bottom there and then the fly screen that goes down to the meet it so that you can have it sort of anywhere in between and close out as much sunlight or let as much in as you like and because it's a fully enclosed blind so it's got a bottom piece too when you actually close it up for night it does give a very sort of dark effect rather than leaving any gaps kitchen here because of the extra width you can have a nice l-shaped kitchen um, Bailey have come up with this clever idea of just literally putting a piece of um, worktop over the top of the uh, hobs so that you can use it as worktop space but then when you want the hobs you've got access to them underneath as well design a tap there uh, it's nice and high so you can get things underneath it uh, like the kettle two main sockets and your light switches and then your Aldi central heating control system there. Um, the Aldi or Alda central heating system is a great wet central heating system um, that's filled with antifreeze and goes around in these radiators all the way around the caravan and really does give a even heat throughout the whole caravan and it's temperature controlled um, so you can just literally set it to 20 degrees and it will heat up until it gets there and it works off gas electric or you can even use it with both together you've got the control for the 12 volt section of the caravan from here and a couple more light switches um, I won't open the door but it's got a door fly screen fitted here handy handle uh, excuse the pun but um, to allow you to get in it's something easy to grab you've got this large fridge freezer made by Dometic um, and the brilliant part of this is that you can open it from both sides so it doesn't matter which side you want to open it from you can and then of course you've got the freezer at the top which is exactly the same and you can open that from both sides too in the cupboard above you've got the solar panel controller so there's a Truma 100 watt solar panel fitted to the roof um, and then that is the controller for it uh, nothing you need to do, it just automatically charges the battery without you having to do any more to it. 
as you can probably see the bedroom area has a divider concertina door that you can unclip and bring all the way across so you can close that off at night and then clip it up out the way during the day you've got a sort of his and hers wardrobe either side nice pull out drawer we've got soft clothes on them and then a cupboard underneath overhead lockers and a bit of a shelf in the middle there to just to break up the space you've got uh, these LED spotlights uh, which can be angled in any direction and individually switched and then they also have a USB socket on them for charging phones at night and what have you plenty of lighting so these nice LED down lighting all the way around if I go back and show you the front of the caravan from this angle, you can see that there's plenty of lighting, it really, really stands out. Um, and you, you know, that down lighter in the kitchen or that strip that runs from the worktop down to the floor, looks fantastic there too. Just show you a bit of the kitchen in terms of space and cupboards. You've got this cupboard space here that just goes round the corner a bit. And then two drawers, one cutlery. Another small one underneath and then a drop down flap at the bottom there for a cupboard. Underneath the cooker you've got obviously you've got your grill and your oven but then underneath that you've also got another drop down for another cupboard. The hob itself as you probably saw has got three gas burners and one electric burner. Um, sensible things that are fitted things like splashback next to the kitchen um, so you're not going to get any water splashing back and onto your seat. You've got hooks in various places in the front here and in the bathroom area, which makes it very practical and user friendly. Microwave fitted at the top there. Um, and then you've got a cupboard over the kitchen there for plates, cups and bowls, etc. As you go past the bed into the toilet area, you can see there's plenty of space during of the day for getting through but even when you bring the bed down at night you can still see there's ample space going through there so it's really handy um, even when the duvet's on you've got plenty of room to get around the bed another little cupboard there light switch and TV set up there, so you've got your 12 volt TV point, mains electric and the aerial socket, and then some shelves and a mirror. On this side of the bed, it's the same as the other side. So you've got a long wardrobe, followed by a drawer and then a bottom cupboard. As you can see, you've got a solid partition door for the bathroom. Uh, the bathroom's got a large mirror that goes all the way along with lighting underneath. Pull cord just inside the doorway to turn those lights on and off. Um, cupboard space underneath the sink. And you see a cutout which is designed to house the uh, cup that holds your uh, toothpaste and toothbrushes which also comes with it. Little hanging rail there. Again, a nice designer tap, um, which gives you plenty of space underneath. You get your hands underneath, probably not your head quite, but you know, <laughs> to wash your face, but it's not far off. A Thetford cassette toilet, uh, which swivels around to any position you want it to be in. And then you've got the electric flush there for that. Plenty of extra cupboard space little shelves in there really handy and that little area there probably useful very useful for the toilet rolls um, you have the Aldi central heating uh, outlet here as well so heat as I say coming out everywhere and then into the shower area 
nice large shower tray, fully lined. You have a um, shower door that comes across and is held in place when traveling with the little turn catch there. And you've got a very useful pull down rail there that you can obviously use to hang to hopefully towels and just towels, but it could be even wet coats as well. There's a shower rail there, and down to the floor tray. Underneath the bed, you've got plenty of storage. It's got gas struts on either side to support the bed as it lifts up. You have the table that's stored there out the way. Extra cushion there, another piece underneath, but obviously you've got plenty of room around it to store things wherever you want. The battery um, is more centrally aligned um, to keep the weight away from the front, um, and that's where it goes in that locker down there. You've also got your control panel there for your mains trip switches and 12 volt fuses. Um, obviously accessible from the inside, but you can access it from that outside locker, which accesses the underfloor, under bed storage area. So I think that's given you a good overview of the caravan. I hope you've enjoyed the video and it's sort of got into the nitty gritty of exactly what's where and what uh, appliances and space and look this caravan has when you're actually using it. So you've got a nice big roof light there in the roof above the bed. So I hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, thank you for watching.